Immunology has become a central science for medicine because it's all about fighting disease and of course when it works well it defends us against bacteria, viruses, fungi, all kinds of nasty germs. But the trouble is when it goes wrong you get really horrible diseases. In Trinity College Dublin I think we have been fortunate to be at the real cutting edge of immunology research for the last decade. Within Trinity there are 15 to 20 research labs working in the area of immunology and many of those are cutting edge world-class labs with leading investigators who would be recognised and known internationally as at the top of their field. The Trinity Biomedical Sciences Institute is looking at the very basic level and then the physicians and the researchers in the hospital in St James's are looking at more the applied side of this and how it can translate into treating patients. Discoveries getting made in Trinity could well give rise to new treatments for disease, uh, new diagnostics maybe, new vaccines. That will really have an impact on human health ultimately. At Trinity, we're really interested in the stimuli of the immune response, in how it actually is mediated and how we might control it. I'm working on the immune response in the uterus. We used to think that the immune system didn't respond at all to the developing fetus, but we actually now know that the immune system is critical. And we think that uh, dysregulation of the immune system contributes to infertility. And infertility is a huge issue for 10% of couples in this country. The immune system, like other organ systems in the body, it's not all in one place at the same time. It's like an orchestra that is scattered throughout the building. There are lots of different players and they have to work in harmony. So we particularly work on a virus called Vaccinia virus, which is a pox virus. And this is a virus that has many very clever ways of hiding from our immune response inside cells. One reason that our cells and others look at this is because we often learn a lot from the viruses about how the immune system operates. So when we're looking in the lab at how these viruses are working, we're almost looking at a huge evolutionary history of how there's been an arms race between the virus and our cells. One of the most satisfying parts of the research is when like-minded people are working on the same topic for, but from different points of view. And it's this combination that we feel will produce something entirely new. We haven't been following trends, we've actually been making discoveries that have contributed fundamentally to our understanding of innate immunity. It, it's striving to do the best work you can do. That clearly has a, has a downstream application. Opsona began in 2004 with three immunologists in Trinity, myself, Kingston Mills and Dermot Kelleher. And we raised six million initially and they just get the company off the ground. Then it begins to roll, 25 employees at its peak and then we're developing this new medicine. It's working in kidney transplant and in cancer is the second area that we're very excited about. Opsona is already in phase two clinical trials. All of this has come out of basic research that was carried on in my lab and Luke O'Neill's lab and other labs. If you can come up with new treatments for disease, it'll be the betterment of society because then people can then contribute fully to society. I think in 15 or 20 years time we will see a dramatic increase in immune-based therapies for a very wide range of human diseases.